The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. Today on the Mad Fin Shark Series, two teams set off on a winner-take-all single-day fish-off. I just need him five feet, bro. Oh, five feet, five all feet. I need. Five feet. <laughs> you need to get wet again, Robert. You got too dry. Yeah, thanks. I love you, Sark! Bam! Ah! Let him go, let him go, let him go. I was close to the hand. Still got him. Love Bo to death. He's definitely the villain to me, and I gotta beat him. Can I tell you how bad I wanna look at these damn trophies? Uh. Both of them in our living room. Two teams will begin this day, but only one will be champion. Hook out, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hook out. It all starts now on the Mad Fin Shock Series. I think it's an infatuation <laughs> by stuff that can kill you. Don't get your hand in there. Look at the size of that bull yeah. shark. Look at the size oh, of that, boys! Crap! Bam! Yeah. Wow. That changes things! This year on the Mad Fin Shark Series, something happened that was a first in its history. A tie left the contest unsettled. Team Vicious Strikes and Team Savage Arms were deadlocked after three days of shark fishing, further stoking a rivalry that had been growing. I tell you what, let's say, hey, let's do this. Hey, Rob? Yes, sir. Whoever beats who today autographs it and the other one has to hang it on their wall. You got it. Ooh. You heard that, right? Ooh. Hey, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send it back. That way you don't have a problem signing it. I'll tell you right now, Paul. What's that? I am not hanging that son of a on my wall. So you better get your A game going. Uh, Love Bo to death. He's definitely the villain to me, and I gotta beat him. That's that's my number one goal is to beat Bo. There's a rivalry. There's more than that. I mean, this is about egos, pride. You have to win. You have to. It's Bo. Bo ain't gonna let us steal the spotlight for too long. What a freaking jackass. It's gonna go on all day, baby. Bring on this crap talking early. I love it. This is my fourth year fishing the Mad Fin. Uh, did it down in the Keys. Uh, now it's in my backyard. Nothing would mean more to me on a personal level uh, to take the title home for Charlotte Harbor. This would be one of the coolest tournaments to win. Um, third one I fished. And, uh, and to be able to win it with Deidre. Mm -hmm. um, the first tournament together. Yeah, it would be the first tournament. And um, just show these people exactly what we have down here, you know, on the southwest coast of Florida. You know, he's come close two years, and I've had two years of very bad luck. It's time for it to all go away. A little bit of karma for all the good things I've done, and uh, something to come to us, and hopefully we'll get it today. On day three, Vicious Strikes thought it was all over with a huge point fit. Hammerhead! 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 Yeah! Hammerhead! Hammer! Hammer! Yeah! Easy, 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 easy. I'm trying, it's easier said than done. That's 1,200 points right there. Bo's gonna sign this with a Sharpie. And this is definitely going on my wall. You know, two reasons. Been a lot of smack talk. Second reason is uh, when you beat Bo Johnson, you've done something, you've accomplished something. Uh, all these competitors, when you've, done, when you've beat them, you've really done something. I don't, you know, know if I don't know if I'll be very humble about it at all. Hey, not. you know what? Hey, Bo can dish it out. Bo I know can he take can. It. Bo he can, can take, take it. it. Absolutely. Otherwise, he wouldn't do it. I know he can. He's a good sport. 
for sure. But the celebration was premature as Savage Arms came back, thanks to the most dangerous moment in Mad ah! Finn history. Ah! Baby! What are you doing? Oh my god, baby! Then, in the final hour, the biggest shark of the day would complete their comeback and hand them the win oh if they could just retrieve the hook. Both teams, in fact, made history today. For the first time ever in the history of Madfin competition, we have a tie. 4,000 points for Team Vicious Strikes, Team Savage Arms, 4,000 points. Here's what happens. In the interest of creating a maximum sporting experience, in the interest of, of great, great competition that this whole series is built upon, we have decided to have a one-day fish-off. And the winner of that one-day fish-off will win the 2012 Madfin Shark Series Tournament. These two teams now head out to fish for one final day. With everything to gain. Bam! Or everything to lose. Look out, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Mad Fin Shark Series is powered by Marine Formula Stabil Ethanol Treatment. Protect your fuel at every fill-up. And by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Storms are threatening as we begin competition on this single day fish off. And Rob and Paul of Team Vicious Strikes are looking for any pocket to keep dry. Wow. We got it to the west, we got it to the east, we got it to the south, we got it to the north. We're in a nice little pocket right now. All right, all right. Let's um, deploy. To Bonita, if you don't mind. Bonita. Welcome to sunny southwest Florida. <laughs> nice. We were really simple, just looking for feeding fish, looking for blitz and bonita and mackerel. Uh, the sharks are following them around. We're just, you know, we're watching the food chain work its way down. And, uh, you know, the, the bonita are there on the fry, and then the sharks are there eating the bonita. And, uh, you know, what's really interesting is them bonita are moving fast. And if you don't get in while they're blitzing, where you can see them, uh, the, you know, the sharks are right underneath them. Once the bonita keep on swimming and move away, so do the sharks. There's uh, frigates dipping in the channel right up there. That's mackerel, but there's fish feeding fish. So you have to look for them, you have to look for the blitz and fish, uh, look for the birds diving, the other kind of the first sign of what's going on. There's fish feeding as far as the eye can see. That's a shark, isn't it? Come on, sharky. That's sharky. Get him. Size? No. Okay. I just need him five feet, bro. Oh, five feet, five all feet. I need. Five feet! <laughs> yep, sorry about that. Come in behind you. Yep. Uh, maybe, Robert. Maybe. Look, you look close? Maybe. It's gonna be tight. Well, we knew we'd have to weed through some of these little guys to get to the big guys, right? Exactly. Hey, I'll take it. It's a start. Get my gloves. Get your gloves. Let's not slice your hand. Yeah. A little early for that. Too early in the day for that, right? Yeah, we'll wait till about, you know, three. Oh, I'm going to stretch him out. We need to get wet again, Robert. You got too dry. Yeah, thanks. Close. Really close. close. Let's see if we can do this uh, without the tailor. 
Dude, he looks five. Let's, uh, let me grab me by the tail here in a minute. Zero. Zero's right here. What do you think? Uh, I'm right at five. And, I mean, he's, he's, God, he's close. I mean, he's. I'm right there on the mark. Right freaking there. I mean, he's just, I'd say he's about an inch, four or five inches yeah. short. All right. Eight. Nope, I, I want your opinion, bro. It is what it is, bro. It was a good catch. That's all that yeah. matters. hearing that a lot my whole life. <laughs> All right. Let good, that go. Hey, good catch. All right. Back at it. Interesting. He uh, ate a live one. Uh-huh. We may have to uh, repeat that again. Yeah, I think I will. Team Vicious Strike's plan of following the food chain up to the apex predator has begun. But they'll need larger sharks to take this crown when we return. Rain has also washed out Bo Johnson's morning, but it takes just one lemon shot to change the game. That was close to the hand. You're a hold of something that's that's a very, very powerful animal. You know, pound for pound muscle, it's an amazing creature. I run a lot of shark charters, we do, and, and, and I pull just about every shark I can into the boat. No different than what you guys are seeing right now. Please be careful, please be careful. And, and you, know, uh, you know, sometimes you, you know, you're stretched out a little far and you have the majority of your body weight is a little further out than it needs to be and, and um you know it, it took one swipe of the tail and you're off balance and you're in the creek oh! Oh! baby what are you doing oh my god baby baby if you're pulling a fish up um and he shakes out of your hand normally his head's coming up and his tail's going down and well you're going on top of the head the only thing I remember is him telling me that if you ever fall in the water with a heated up bull shark, you're done. After watching the clip, we have to thank our camera guy, Justin, because Absolutely. once I went overboard, the shark took off. Justin did a great job getting that camera off the line because it was wrapped in it. And that would have been a very easy pink and you have no points. You know, it, it's teamwork and, you know, great camera guys go a long way and thank you. That harrowing moment was one of many opportunities on day three. But today has been very different. Much like Team Vicious Strikes, rain has washed out the first half of the day. Now, waiting patiently has become a difficult task. Could be sitting in a deer stand. Or we could be catching the winning shark. But you know, the bad thing is, you know, after the, the first three days, you know, we split the trophies. One team got one and we've had one. And I don't know about you, but I've got real accustomed to staring at that trophy. You know, what is that old thing? It's better to have uh, loved and lost and never loved it all. Yeah. Well, kind of love that trophy. <laughs> but I think that's horse <laughs> I'd rather never have it there if we don't get to take it there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redecorate that happens. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. It's coming around to you, bro. 
I'm gonna get that belt on. Come up. We needed this. Oh, yes, we do. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. He's got a very strong head shake to him. Like that. Front? Yeah. He looked, he looked pretty good. Yeah, I saw him. He looked wide. I'd say he's a good one. Yeah! That's that nine and a half foot lemon, baby. Holy smoke! I love you, shark! Bam! Ah! Bam! Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on back. You good? All right, baby. We gotta land you. You gotta get the hook out. I'm gonna go for a leader. Just time to pull up. There you go. You got a leader, leader. Leader. Yeah. All right, come on. Come back. Grab the tail. Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it. Seven. Seven. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Come back here. That was close to the hand. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Still got him. Open. Yeah! Woo! Sweet. Mm. We needed that. Oh, I felt good. <laughs> The first shark of the day comes to the boat at 1.50 p.m. And Savage Arms picks up the 250 point first shark bonus to go with their catch. Still up for grabs are the bonus points for most sharks and biggest shark that will decide our champion. I think black tips should be worth more. They are feisty, feisty, feisty guys. The Mad Fin Shark Series is powered by Marine Formula Stabil Ethanol Treatment. Protect your fuel at every fill-up. And by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. The Mad Fin Shark Series returns for this winner-take-all fish-off near Pine Island, Florida. Team Savage Arms has drawn first blood with a 600-point lemon shark and a bonus for the first shark of the day. Now Vicious Strike's teammates Rob and Paul have reached 2 p.m. without a shark. But now the skies are clearing and the sea life is starting to feed. I don't see those other birds going off. Oh, there they are behind you. Yeah, there's still some sharks around here. Bloody up that water, brother. Working on it. You got enough for me to have one? A fillet or no? Uh, I can. Go broke or go home. Right? I ain't looking for small, baby. King Kong bull shark. We're a tiger. There are sharks in here, brother. I promise you. We're gonna get. We're gonna get hooked up here. I got it. Yep. Look for the jump. Is he still on? As far as I know. I can't tell. He's on. Oh, oh, jeez. Nice fish. Need a little help? 
Got him? Nice fish, got some weight. Looks probably a black tip though. Yeah, I'm fine, dude. I'm a happy man when I'm catching fish. Another five foot black tip. <sighs> Those fish just quit? Yep. yep. Amazing. We had sharks uh, following it up. I was catching, I was having Benita follow my spoon. Woo! Didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. Oh. He's all kinds of pissed off. See, personally, I think black tips should be worth more. They are feisty, feisty, feisty guys. Oh, easy five foot. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> He's gonna slap the boat, splash me, you watch. See? Hook out, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hook out. A black tip is now on the board for Team Vicious Strikes. And none too soon. With most shark and the biggest shark bonuses still up for grabs, they're not out of it yet. Next time on the Mad Fin Shark Series, Bo and Deidre put the pressure on. Okay. But is it enough to overcome a double hookup by Vicious Strikes? That's one of the biggest black tips I've ever seen, dude. Don't miss the conclusion oh of the 2012 Mad Fin Shark Series. <laughs> one team will be champion. I like it! I like it! Oh, oh black damn! He's jumping! Nice! He's jumping!